to Dr. Jared's Science Shenanigans. And today is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite lessons, which is on circuits. So you have an open circuit and a closed circuit. An open circuit is one that is incomplete, where the energy flow has been interrupted and stopped. And a closed circuit is one that is complete. So the energy continues to flow around. You know you have energy in your body? Yes, you do. And I'm going to show you how you can find that out. Here's this energy ball. And the energy ball is also a type of circuit. Right now, it's an open circuit because it's not on. The energy is not flowing through and it's not lighting up. But there's two pieces of metal on each side. And what I'm going to do is show you how the energy flows through your body and it's going to turn on this energy ball. So I touch one side of the metal. Is it on? Energy flowing through? Well, what is that? Is that an open circuit or a closed circuit? You're right. It's an open circuit because the energy is not flowing all the way through. But energy is flowing through my body right now. And I'm going to touch the other side. And what happens? Energy is flowing through and now it's a complete. It is a closed circuit and it's complete. Open circuit, closed circuit. Open circuit, closed circuit. Now, how do you make a closed circuit? or an open circuit. I have a battery. I also have two pieces of wire and the metal on the wire is exposed. Now usually when you get a piece of wire it has um, the plastic coating all the way to the end and you'll have to have an adult help you to cut that coating off and then expose the wire. And the reason why is because metal is a conductor and wire um, Plastic on the wire is an insulator, so we wouldn't be able to put it on there. You have to use the, the metal piece. I also have a battery holder. I have a light bulb that I put in, sorry. I have a light bulb, and I also have a light bulb holder. Now, if you don't have the um, battery holder or the light bulb holder, you can use tape to tape the items together, and it would work as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the battery inside the battery holder, like so. And then I'm going to take each side of the, each side of the um, wire and I'm going to attach it to the battery holder. So one is in. And then the other side I'm going to attach to the light bulb holder. And I have to do it on both sides. Now once I have that done, I have kind of like a circle of type, well it's not really a circle, it looks like a triangle, but it's a circle um, type of complete circuit. But I don't have my light bulb in, so I have to put my light bulb in. Let's see if it works. So once I put my light bulb in, the light will come on and this is a closed circuit so therefore I have a complete flow of energy happening here if I was to take one of the wires out the battery um, would not be giving energy into the wires which then does not give energy into the light because it's not a complete circuit it's just a um, open circuit right now if I was to take and attach that back it would light the light bulb back up which means it is a closed circuit open circuit closed circuit open circuit closed circuit so i have two pictures here and i want to see if you can get it so we have a and b one is an open circuit and one is a closed circuit a do you think it is an open circuit or closed circuit it is a closed circuit. It has the energy flowing throughout. That means B would be our open circuit. Good job, guys. Now, let's look at this one. We have A and B. What do you think? Which one do you think is the open circuit? You're right. A. 
A is the open circuit, which means B would be the closed circuit where you have energy flowing throughout. Now, I would like to send a shout out to Miss Thomas's class, Miss Thomas's fifth grade class at uh, Lincoln Elementary. And thank you for watching the videos and being supportive. What I want you to do is like, comment, and share the videos. Like, comment, and share the videos. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for joining in to Dr. Jarrett's Science Shenanigans.